Mechanism of Action of Jack Inhibitors The Janus kinase, or Jack protein family, consists of Jack 1, Jack 2, Jack 3, and tyrosine kinase 2, or TYK2. They interact with the intracellular portion of cytokine receptors and play an important role in the signal transduction pathways for multiple cytokines, including pro-inflammatory cytokines such as interleukin-2 or IL-2, IL-4, IL-7, IL-9, IL-13, IL-15, IL-17, IL-21, and IL-23, which are involved in the pathogenesis of IBD. JAK1 and JAK3 modulate an adaptive immune response via IL-2, IL-4, IL-7, IL-9, IL-15, and IL-21 signaling. JAK proteins are associated with distinct cytokine receptors, but initiate their transcription response via common intracellular signaling pathways. Physiologically, a cytokine binding to its specific cell surface receptor initiates a conformational change in the receptor that in turn leads to recruitment and activation of the associated jacks. Activated jacks then phosphorylate specific residues on the intracellular domains of the cytokine receptor, which serve as docking sites for associated STAT proteins. Upon docking, the activated receptor-associated jacks phosphorylate STATs. The phosphorylated STATs then dissociate from the receptor chains, dimerize with each other, and translocate to the cell nucleus where they activate gene transcription. Understanding of this vital jack stat signal transduction pathway has led to the development of orally administered small molecule jack inhibitors for the treatment of IBD. JAK inhibitors bind to the kinase domain of JAK and prevent its activation, thereby preventing STAT phosphorylation and translocation to the nucleus to activate gene transcription. JAK inhibition potentiates downstream inhibition of cytokine synthesis by reducing the production of pro-inflammatory cytokines. An important example of the effects JAK inhibition can have on reducing inflammation is the prevention of the pro-inflammatory cytokine IL-17 from being produced by T-helper-17 cells, even when in the presence of IL-23 stimulation. Ultimately, JAK inhibition can impact multiple cytokine pathways by utilizing small molecule inhibition, which offers the potential for oral dosing and the ability to modulate the extent of cytokine inhibition during a dosing period.